In this video, I'd like us to talk about profiles in Subtitle Edit and how you can use them, how you can create your own profiles, really depends on what you're working towards. So uh, let's begin. I'm inside Subtitle Edit 3.6.5 and by default, we're using the default profile. You may not know this, but let me show you how you can access the profile. And to access the profile, you need to click on Options. Let's click on that, Settings. Uh, and then once you're inside here, you'll see rules here. You'll see profile, default, and then there are three dots here. Uh, and then if you click on this drop down, you'll see different preloaded defaults. Uh, that is profiles uh, inside subtitle edit. Now, what this help with is they show you what rules you should follow. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because you may have a client that wants you to have or maybe a job that requires you to have a single line maximum length of about 37. At the time of recording this video, the default has 43. So you may need to edit this default uh, profile and save it as a profile for repeat clients so that you don't need to keep doing this. So you'll see optical characters per second, 15, maximum characters per second, 25, maximum words per minute, 400, minimum duration, uh, that is uh, a thousand milliseconds or one second maximum duration milliseconds eight uh, thousand milliseconds basically what i'm going where i'm going with this is you may need to change this meaning um gap between subtitles in milliseconds so you can change this to whatever you want meaning um gap in frames uh, you can actually even use frames here uh, use 83 milliseconds as new so these true frames at a frame rate of 23 gives you 83 milliseconds. Uh huh. Use 83 milliseconds as new gap frame ETC. Uh, pretty good. Uh, that's pretty awesome if you can actually do that. Uh, maximum number of lines depends on what you're working on. So let's say we want to change this. Click on these three dots. And once we click on these three dots, what you can do is uh, you can just click on copy. And then you get this copy of default. So once you do that, you can just call it whatever. David, repeat. And then let's say you are going for a single line max length of 37. Optimal characters. Uh, let's leave everything else as it is. Everything else, count all characters. Yes, count all characters. That's OK. And then let's just click OK. So just come inside here and then look. Uh, for whatever you just created, David, repeat down here. Just click on that and you'll see this has changed and then click OK. So when you look down here, whatever we are using right now is David, repeat. So if I click on this, you can actually click on that to see what you're using. You can also change to that the default and then you'll not see that here. If you click on this, you'll not see it there because the default is always default. I wish we could also access it from here. Uh, but you will need to go back to options, settings, and then just come in here, navigate to whatever you want, David repeat, click OK, and then you'll see it down here. Let's assume you're doing the Netflix version. Just click on this, uh, just go for Netflix English, single line is 42 optical characters per second 15, maximum characters 20, minimum gap between subtitles in milliseconds is 84, just click OK. Uh, you may get a few uh, notifications here. It's because of the way uh, this uh, particular uh, profile for Netflix has been set up. So that is how you can create, edit, manipulate the different profiles, how you can switch between each profile depending on what you're working with. Uh, something else is you can click on settings and then let's say we go to uh, my profile, David Repeat. And then you can just click on export uh, so that you can actually export. Let's say you want to export this uh, and share it with a freelancer uh, or maybe somebody you're collaborating with and do that. Click OK ETC. If somebody sends you a subtitle profile for subtitle edit, just click on import and then import the profile with uh, the specific rules that have been set for that particular subtitle profile. So. Uh, I hope this has been informative and of value to you uh, to help you save time, especially when you have uh, profiles that need specific uh, rules to be followed when creating subtitles. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, and I hope that you are going to use this.
to uh, your advantage. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.